Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays Rimworld of Magic Royalty. 1.1. Rustin is, uh, not happy. Not feeling too loyal right now, but we're building them up. We're building them up. They're going to be better. They're going to be stronger. And they're going to, they're going to give us, they're going to give us silver for it. Don't worry. They'll be okay. Probably. God, I hope. Really need more tax policies than just these two. We'll have to figure it out. We we'll have to figure that out. Uh, but Fort Treewick is available to defend again. It's only slightly too late. That's all right. You just keep sending me fifteen hundred silver per, per per whatever tax rate is. I think it's five days. Then we'll be all good. Okay. There's our nice orange area. We're going to figure out what to color these areas as well. I hadn't thought of anything yet, but I'm thinking maybe uh, go with a a weird... Eh, let's go with a forest green. A darker green. Yeah, green for the ages. And then we'll go with... Uh, for this one down here. Maybe we'll slap it up with some nice pink... And then, uh, from the bottom one, go with a nice, a nice light blue. Yeah. There you go. A little bit of extra color. And then we'll do, uh, we'll just do white doors for everyone. We don't negotiate on doors. There you go. Someone said I should make the door of the little barn area white, so I'll make that white too. Just to make you happy. Alright, minor break risk on Miss Mask. I'm sorry to hear this. But I understand. Alright, and we're keeping the floors n the natural wood color because that's what I got in my house, so if I have to live with it, you have to live with it. I ain't even talking about Rimworld right now. <laughs> anyway. I guess we should put up some torch lamps. Couldn't hurt. There we go. We got management happening. We have in order to get us more fruits, it looks like. Fruits are good. So yeah, I'm still trying to figure out this side focus thing a little bit. Because like now it's down to 65%, so eventually I will automatically meditate, maybe? I don't know, man. Uh, this, uh, this freaking skip. Uh, you teleport over here. Hoi! Cool! And then we, uh, then we do it again to bring us over here. Hoi! It's, it's, it's cool. I mean, yeah, it is. And then we'll, then we'll just stun ourselves. No, stun the fawns. All right, there's a stun. I mean, it's neat. I should really be using that one more. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't know if the meditation just happens automatically or what. Huh? <laughs> just trying to figure this stuff out, man. I'm just trying to, hey, you know what? A bunch of painting is a bunch of extra work. Alright, all right, I forgot this manticore has asthma. Yo, did we ever get that uh, Chi Lin cut up? This is a weird thing to say, I know. Yeah, we must have, because we now have 45 Magisite. Oh no, we, I think we harvested one. We harvested a bush. No, the bush doesn't give you that much. So yeah, we must have. Cool! All right, bring me more magic animals so that I can slaughter them for their delicious, uh, delicious nothings. Also, we can hunt all of these animals now. So I think we're going to do that. Because we can safely hunt them thanks to a mod that I continuously forget that I have. You gave me guinea pigs? Get out of here with that garbage. I ain't here for no guinea pig. All right? We'll have to the boars eventually, but you got to be, you got to be wary about the boars. You just got to be. Okay, extracts are getting learned. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Houses are getting painted. This area is all ready to be used for something different. So, let's go ahead and tear down some walls. Whoop. Or you can just shoot it and kill it in one hit. That works too. I, I heard it die. Okay. Here we go. So now, I guess the only question of the day... You know what? Let's leave uh, one of... Hey, yeah, let's get rid of this one, but let's leave 
one of these in here for now. Shark Walker with his extra point. Give me a better fireball. Give some more terror potency, which means it makes people scared. But yeah, we'll tear all those down. Now, do we turn this to a game room or do we turn this into a new storage area? That is the question of the day. Because we have like a a storage area out here for like, you know, things that don't deteriorate. So we don't need storage for that. We could have like a clothing storage or like a finished goods storage area. Actually, I kind of like the idea of a clothing storage area now that I set it. Extract research is done. Now we can make salt. <laughs> oh, well, we can learn how to make salt, I should say. Ooh, ointments. Ointments. Aloe cream. Bandages made out of yarrow. And a washing tub? Use to remove the taint from items. Re <laughs> I got overly excited. Research that, please. A new way to remove taint. Well, taint that great. Okay. We're gonna obviously floor up the whole area here. But I kind of like the idea of using it for furniture storage. Now that I said it. So I'll probably use it for that. I should probably consider that storage mod too. Anyway, that's not here nor there, is it? You know, you got, you know, a mod infusion's gonna be coming. Probably at episode 100. Don't quote me on that. Unless you really want to, but. That's probably when it's coming down the pipe. So I'll just have to I'll have to make sure to keep tabs on when episode 100 comes through. But yeah, I like uh, I like that side focus. I, I think I like the changes to it. I'm really looking forward to seeing a new quest. So Randy Random, don't uh, don't disappoint me here. Give me a new quest someday. All right, I'm thinking I might also get rid of it, make this so that it's not rooms anymore either and move you three down here. But then I have no idea what I would use this section for. Like, even less of an idea than up here. Okay. Let's just replace all the flooring with really rough flooring. That'll be nice. If. Ish. Nice if. Yeah, it's a decent room. Decent room. Maybe it should be a rec room. I mean, I think it is just the right size for a billiards table, isn't it? Yeah, it is literally just the right size for it. So maybe that's what we want to do. Just wreck it up in here. Open a couple of windows. And just have a good time. I mean, why not? The best part is we can deconstruct the wood and yeah, the wood that we're deconstructing in here literally pays for a tile and every three or four that we, yeah, three that we deconstruct, cost three, right? Yeah. Every three that we deconstruct uh, pays for a fourth tile. So, hey, this room practically pays for its own reflooring. Again, what's not the love? Other than the fact that it brings the quality down a bit. That's okay, though. For now, for the short term. For the short term, that's fine. 2.8 days before Rostin is upgraded. And it becomes a better Rostin. I look forward to that day. And I think it is the way to go at this point. Gotta build up them little villages. Make them better, make them stronger. And then, when they are slightly more able of defending themselves, we can expand. You know, but don't do it before they have at least a shot at defending themselves. No point. Yeah, we could use a nice wreck room. And this, this definitely is a room that you could wreck in, so... Maybe it counts as nice enough. Who even knows? Alright. Good, good, good. Jolly well good. So now we're researching ointments... Which is nice. We have 45 Parasite. How much do we need for the cooler? Uh, 48? We're so close. Oh, God, we're close. Please. 
What the hell is a uh, Chalciotherium? What is this? Oh, I think I've seen you, right? Um, despite what its bizarre appearance could suggest, most closely related to horses and rhinoceroses, walks on its knuckles and uses its huge sloth-like claws as both a rake and a means of defense against predators. So it's a megafauna creature, not a... That is an interesting looking creature. It is a megafauna, not a magical creature, so there isn't really that much of a point in hunting it, in my opinion. So I think I'll just leave it be. We don't need the meat. We just need uh, other animals to be able to wander in. And they keep giving me guinea pigs. Get out of here. I don't want you here. You stinky little guinea pigs. We have so much smoked meat right now. So much smoked meat. Hey, uh, Volpe. Well, we have a second. I know you want to charge the portal, and I appreciate that. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, throw down another quick freeze in here. Stop. Uh, I should not put fertilized eggs in here. I mean, I'm happy I caught that when I did. Don't put fertilized eggs in here. Haul this out. Uh, haul it, please. Why do you have to mount the creature to the... It's right next... Oh, God! What? <laughs> Why did you do that, Volpe? What? what the, whoa! Okay, Miss Teleport. Hot damn. Yeah, I need to make a room specifically for those, I think. Because I need to keep those fertilized eggs alive. Anyway. <laughs> Come up here. The way I was going to have you do. And we're going to have you freeze the room. I'm happy I caught that when I did at the very least. Hmm, apparently a group of travelers is passing by. How y'all doing? Hope you're all having a good time. Ba boom Go. Thank you. And you got to level up for it. So, worked out perfectly. And professionally. Down to 26 mana for that. 13 for that. Cool, cool, cool. Keep it frozen for a little while. Till I go into the room and ruin it. Well done, me. Alright. Very nice. Hey, we're even... Oh, now the room's awful. Oh, well, part of that is because it's apparently quite dirty. And ugly. So you know what? We'll fix the ugly. I uh, can't fix the dirty. Apparently travelers from the Athenian Empire are passing by. Yo, you know what we could do? We could do a long aqueduct. Yeah, we'll have it like extend over to here. So that we still have all the space around this. Yeah, that'll, that'll make it better. Because all these aqueducts bring... Five beauty. Oh well. It also makes the room cleaner. So that'll be nice all around. Yeah, it's like having a little little knot pool in here, you know? It's neat, in my opinion. In my stupid, stinky opinion. Where did that egg go? What, what, what was... Help. George has forgotten how to rescue. Okay, look. Please do not put fertilized eggs in the place where we get cooked food from. I don't want to talk to you! You griffin? No furred eggs in here. No furred eggs in here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Furred eggs go in, like, places like this. Okay? Most raw food should not go in here, but fertilized eggs do. Same goes for here. Most raw food, no. Fertilized eggs, yes. Okay, cool. I said, we'll probably end up making a zone specifically for them just because it'd be nice to keep them safe. And it would be nice to have a spot where we can keep track of them. That would be nice, would it not? And it probably doesn't even need to be that big of a zone. It's probably just uh, something like this. With a little torch at the end. To keep it warm, you see. Yeah, we could try that. Um, the flooring really doesn't matter in here. We'll just use the ugly ass plywood. Build it real quick. Get me a not bamboo. Get me a torch lamp in here to go to the end. And then we put in a stockpile zone here. 
Holds five different types of eggs. Possibly even in stacks. A quest is available. Oh, baby, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, hide it. Clear it. Fertilized eggs. Critical priority. Immense construction. That, that is immense. Oh, my God, those requirements. Oh, my God, the size of this quest. Okay, Antonia wants us to build a huge monument to commemorate Imperials who have fallen in battle. Any 1,086 material could be stony, metallic, or woody. And then any 606 jade, sandstone. Okay, I think it's any of those you can use. It doesn't have to be all of them. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it would list them all. Upon completion, you'll have to protect it for 52 days. If any piece is destroyed... You know, we, we fail. Um, oh, no. If any of it is destroyed, the Countess's enforcement system will activate and a mech cluster will land that gives us an uh, that hits us with an auto mortar. No, no, no. I don't want that mortar shield. I don't even care about everything. I don't want auto mortars in my freaking house. Uh, we would get 69 goodwill, which is obviously nice. But uh, that reward sucks. Yeah, no. I don't want that reward. That 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 reward sucks. Yeah, I'm not going to accept this quest for this reward. No, no, no. You, you give me you give me something worth accepting that for. Goodwill is not enough for this. I don't want to build this big ass 12 by 27 piece of garbage in the first place. Yeah, no, that's not that's not good. That's not good. I don't know how to. I don't know if there's somewhere where I can change the reward I would get, but uh, yeah, I don't want that. You know what? If, don't accept goodwill anymore. Uh, from either of these two, we we will accept royal favor. And. From these guys, I guess I'd be okay with accepting some goodwill. Maybe. Monkey meat. A thousand monkey meat has rotted away in storage. Well, that's unfortunate. Right, animals keep getting hunted. They keep getting replaced with more weak little animals. Gotta get rid of them, dude. Alright, get this thing roofed and indoors. And we'll make a little, uh... You know, we'll paint this a little bit. Once it's done, of course. No point in painting it before it's done. Be a little bit wild and wacky. We're not... Okay, we're not out of the wood. No, no, no. We have enough for it. It just hasn't been delivered yet. Which is fine. Perfectly fine. Oh, no! Ray Ray, no! He's goofed it! Oh, God! Well, that hurt. I mean, just in my soul, but it hurt. We should make some shallow water. <laughs> we should extend our river. Maybe make it go up, up and over this way. We'll make a moat. Could be nice. Yeah, the little, the little, little divots here are weird. Dude, why is this room so? Is it, it's got to be just the flooring, right? I didn't think the flooring was that ugly. Actually, it doesn't say the flooring itself is ugly. It says the... Is it the... Is it the dirt that's ugly? I mean, I know there were rough vertical planks, but I didn't think they had a negative beauty to them. No, they don't. So that should be neutral as hell. I I'm not entirely sure why the room is so ugly. Also, these are supposed to be open. They don't seem open, though. It says closed. Can you... Okay, closed facing north. Closed facing north. What? My windows are broken. Oh, God. I guess we're going to replace them, then. <laughs> Bobby just teleported herself. I didn't... I, I didn't see it coming. Came as a... 
perfect surprise right in my face. All right. It is an awful little room, but it is a room that will keep our eggs safe and hopefully alive. It says on roof. Cool. I can fix that. That's an easy fix. There, fixed. Roof it up. This is apparently a kitchen. It is extremely impressive. How does this not count as a room? I guess you gotta click on something to make it count? To give you the account for it? Wait, what? I'm sorry, does this not count as a room anymore? This is blowing my mind. This still counts as a kitchen. This is outdoors? Wait, what happened to... Uh, must have gotten destroyed. In the raid. I just didn't see it happen. Until it was too late. Okay, now this area is roofed. Ugh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's another one. Keeping Clementine. Now this is a quest with rewards. Now you're talking my language. Calcinus or Calcincus? Calcincus? Nosman, a yeoman of the Exodus Empire, is making a request. He wants me to take care of his favorite pet, the caribou named Clementine, for seven days. Uh, Clementine is sick with blood rot and will require daily treatment. Can be slowed with high quality care and medicine, but generally cannot be cured outright. If the disease becomes severe, Clementine will die, so ensure you have the necessary medical supplies. Be except for a little bit of royal favor. A legendary wooden great bow or some glitter world medicine. Honestly, none of those are that amazing. What the hell is blood rot? A slow growing bacterial disease. The bacteria have little effect on the victim during their growing phase, but upon reaching saturation levels will induce a toxin storm that leads to immediate death. The body's immune system will clear blood rot after a long time. So the standard treatment is to use normal medicine to suppress it until that happens. Glitter world doctors can use a massive meconite dose to clear the infection immediately but it is expensive. Okay, so we would have to give her good medical treatment. Gotcha. I mean, it's worth a shot. What's three medical, or what's three royal favor do for us? It is the Exodus Empire. Four is what we have right now. So I think, yeah, that's enough to get us to seven total. I mean, I don't think we need to go up in that any, but... And a wooden legendary great bow is not... I mean, it has great accuracy. And decent armor penetration as well. Glitter World Medicine kind of speaks for itself. We do have six of it already, though. Hmm. Let's try it. Nah, let's go for the Glitter World Medicine. Okay, Clementine is arriving. Do, 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 do. There's Clementine. Animal needs treatment, of course. Has the blood rot. It is minor right now. So we just have to keep Clementine alive for seven days. Clementine is immediately going down to rest. Which is good. And Clementine, we can... We have 13 regular medicines. Let's use regular medicine on Clementine. Sharkwalker, I believe you're still our best doctor, so can I have you immediately go 10 to Clementine? And we'll see if we can keep her alive. I was going to say awake, but I guess alive is just an advanced form of being awake or vice versa. I guess it'd be vice versa. Being awake is the advanced form of being alive. You can be alive without being awake. But generally doing the other way around is a little difficult. Anyway, we can spend a couple of regular medicines because we're basically, the way I'm thinking of it is we're basically trading regular medicine for Glitter World medicine at this point. If we just use a couple to keep uh, Clementine here alive. All right. 92%. What a goddamn champion. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. It's actually going down. It's so good. 
Oh, hell yes. Sharkwalker, you beautiful man, you. With your excellent heels. Actual beauty. Uh, okay. Who has got worms? Six people have got worms. Frick. Got worms sucks. Okay, so I must have meditated at some point. Yeah. Anyway, gut worms sucks. Because it makes people get hungry faster. The pain is minimal. I mean, the bad mood is worse than the pain. Although they do, you know, pile on top of each other to make the mood worse. It's kind of... The bad mood is worse than the pain. I'm going to stick with that story. Alpacas? Get those out of here. Why are you giving me so many mega sloths? We're going to need to hunt them anyway, because we're going to need more smoked meat. Because we're going to eat more often. It sucks, but that's just how it is right now. Uh, give me the numbers. How are we doing on medical care for everyone? Bring them down to herbal medicine only for now, because this is not something that requires higher level medicine for this team. And we can kind of move about our day. Uh, I can see Clementine on this list, right? Please tell me Clementine shows up on this list. Yes, okay, she does. Good. So we can always see where she is. Gut worms are down the 1.9. Yeah, it's it, this is going to be... These rares are going to be easy, my dude. I love it. Maestro is going to give us more chibi muffs. I love it. All right. Did I actually... No, I just left this one alone. Yeah, that's 69 Goodwill. Great number bad prize. I don't care for it. So I'm just going to leave it. Leave it as is. And of course, we're going to need lights in here. So what I think I might do is do this and then this to here. And then we just leave a little spot where we can put in a torch lamp. No, not a torch lamp. No, 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 no. Uh, we'll leave a spot where we can put in the... Underground heater. Yo, if you make this out of the right stuff, can it have beauty? Eh, probably not. There you go. Cool. I mean, it's still considered an awful room right now. I really didn't think the floor was that ugly. I'm getting like random negative 15 beauty spots here, though. Clean this room. Yeah, it's all about the friggin' be it's all about the dirt. It, it, it was all the dirt, okay. Thank goodness it was all the dirt, because I was losing my mind there. Sharkwalker's 28 years old today, apparently. Congra I accidentally put wood here instead of the... Help me. <laughs> Help me, I'm making mistakes. Not that that's new. Oh, God. Oh, well, at least we're making bulk pemmican. This is good. Dimus is in a bad mood because he's got the gut worms. He's ravenously hungry and he just killed a mega sloth. Well, if he can eat and then go to bed, his mood will be fine. So let's see if he can do this successfully. I guess we got to repaint this room now. Oh, we still have to repaint the fence. We never repainted the fence. What color should this fence be? I'm thinking maybe a lighter color. Let's try that. Redo this fence. We can leave the white gates. Alright. And then we'll redo this room. Maybe we'll make it... Like an offish white. No, that's too much like the floor, and I don't like that. I don't like it being just like the floor. It seems weird. So, do a darker color. See how that works out for us. Yeah, we'll try that out. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, the worst that could happen is I just don't like it. Okay, now we do the proper thing over here. Okay, cool. Things are happening. Roston's upgrading. It's going to be great. 
That is going to be it for this episode of That Plays Rim World of Magic Royalty. I just realized I can put even more workers in here and get more money. Uh, and that's going to be a psychic drone next time, which is going to suck if you have both the worms and you happen to be a female like Volpe over here. If you enjoyed this episode of That Plays Rim World of Magic Royalty, though, make sure to let me know by giving a like. Yeah, feel free to subscribe for more because it'll keep coming and it probably won't stop coming. Until next time, thanks again for watching this episode of RimWorld of Magic Royalty. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video, my dudes.